Are you fed up with vegans attacking the movement? Why do you think I came off Facebook? <laughs> well, I was just going to say the same because it's like, I love it, but I loathe it. So many people just rub me up the wrong way and something I saw recently just okay. infuriated me and it's... To the point where he won't even tell me what it is until well, we do this video. See, I want to get your natural reaction okay. on this because I saw a comment on the UK Vegan Facebook forum mm. feed which, and I shall quote, Regarding veganism, I believe we're fighting a losing battle. It seems that a lot of vegans do very little other than not eat animal products. We need people to be more proactive. Thinking that you're saving lives by buying vegan options in this country is a myth. Now I read that again recently and I feel a little bit different about it. I'm trying to see his point yeah. of view. But when I first read that I felt I felt really angry about it because it's... Not everyone can be an activist. It's being really negative and everybody yeah. is different. It's anything that's left or anything that's away from the norm. Like, I could turn around to you and say, it's fine that you're gay, you're just not doing enough for the gay cause. Yeah, exactly. Or saying to someone who's black, you're not doing enough for Black Lives Matter. It's, it's just picking up that not everyone can be an activist. And I think it's making it out to be really negative as yeah. well. It's not thinking of the positives. In fact, when I replied to him on mm. the thread, because I don't normally do that if I know it's going to cause an argument, because to me it seemed like a really hostile post. It yeah. seems like he wasn't seeing the bigger picture, he was just seeing the negative yeah. parts of what vegans do yeah. or don't do. So my reply was, how can you say this? Animal rights march attendance figures have doubled yep. over the years. It's like particularly last year we saw it doubling again and it doubled the previous year as well. Veganism is snowballing so we're seeing more people choosing vegan options even if they're not actually vegan, 100% vegan. But a lot of people find out about what being a vegan is by doing the plant-based diets. Yeah. Like we've always said, we said on a previous video about eating food that has a chicken name like vegan burgers or vegan sausages. If you're using that terminology, that makes people more comfortable with yeah. eating food that they ate totally. before. And yeah. so, do you know what? His, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what his response to that was? To to me posting that reply: yeah. more animals are being slaughtered in this country yearly. How do we feel about that? I think it's easy for people to judge as well, and when they don't know your history, it's like they don't know your background. Yeah. It's easy for you to say, "Oh, you don't do as many marches as you should do," when you haven't known or should what's be, happened in the past. Or should we be going and you know protesting outside animal farms yeah. and things like this? The response to his post from somebody else yeah. really got me going, and that was and I quote, the march of marches, the place where vegans can look active, this post would not exist if half were active out of media. And yes, there probably yeah. are vegans out there who just do it for the attention or just do it because they're in the public eye. Yeah. But again, it's very judgy. And I hate to use that term because that's something that vegans get a lot of the times, so or you're a judgy vegan. But when I see <sighs> vegans like this that are I'm not being good to the cause they're harming the cause i think yeah the first band i ever photographed was the dresden dolls and i'm friends with brian the drummer and i follow amanda palmer i have i find her problematic sometimes but i think she likes that she is problematic sometimes but she talked about the avocado theory oh yeah and this was in relation to biden's running mate because she, although she's black and female she's problematic and she used this analogy. A few years ago a vegan friend of mine told me a story. She'd written a post about veganism on Facebook and one of her best friends posted a comment about how vegans are short-sighted and selfish because their avocado consumption was killing the planet. Then they stopped being friends. The story feels like a microcosm of things happening right now, an impasse between people who are aligned towards compassion and progress but cannot agree on the details. This is happening in many spheres, feminists, climate advocates, queer activists, and the left in general, and we can add vegans into that. Idealism can be and has historically been a helpful tool, but real purity doesn't exist. There will always be the fine bones of contention upon which people won't agree. But the fact that it's become de rigueur to cast out the imperfect is getting 
she says the left into a real mess because she's writing about the left but I think about vegans as well right right he's calling for purity yeah. and veganism that he has this one ideal or she I don't know Sam is a male yeah. of him they have this one ideal of what veganism is veganism is doing no harm to animals so trying to live your life that does as little harm to animals as possible there is nothing in the direct of being vegan that says we have to be activists stop being to other vegans i'm sick of it well there was somebody else who replied sorry and, well there are a couple of people actually that said oh we're never going to be vegan overnight i don't think that's the point here i think no. the point is we're trying to stop animal suffering as much as yeah. we can this is the problem with it and that's why i think it's that avocado thinking a meat eater said, well, you you vegans are yeah. shit because you eat avocados. Yeah, yeah. It's like a vegan saying to another vegan, you're shit because you don't do activism. How dare you tell me what something is because it doesn't fit your ideal of that. Absolutely. And that's what divides us. If yeah. we as vegans cannot, and I always talk about it in view of left-wing politics because being left-wing, I feel that the left-wing is completely all over the place. If we don't come together and just say, you know what, we're each doing as much as we can. Yes, I need to cut down on my plastic use. I need to perha perhaps do more to, s to spread the word of veganism, whatever. But we're all doing our own little bit. Whether that is, all you can do is cut out meat from your diet. Yeah. And who, dairy and eggs. You're doing your bit. Who was it I saw recently? It was a vegan activist who said nobody's perfect. I can't remember who it was. It might have been Chris Packham, maybe, mm. who obviously went vegan, I think, a year ago or mm. tried to go vegan. And you would think, oh, with him having con conservation in mind, you would think he would have gone vegan years yeah. ago. But he hasn't. And yeah. he's, I'm guessing, what, 50 something? Yeah. So he's had all that time to be vegan and he's doing it now. Surely that is way better than yeah. him not trying at all. Exactly! Um, on the flip side of that, somebody posted on my Instagram after I posted a picture of me lying in the heat trying to cool off. I was off. wondering what you were doing there. <laughs> and Teddy decided to join me and just plonk himself on my legs. And you could see my belt, which oh, incidentally God. was bought from vegetarian shoes. And somebody who I know is a friend of mine from Portsmouth uh, posted, is your belt vegan? And my instant reaction was, here we go, there's always yeah. one, isn't yeah. there? trying to pick a fault with what I'm doing. But actually he was asking because he wanted to get one. He was <laughs> asking because he, he was yeah. curious as to what it was made of. Yeah. And I think sometimes, I think on social media especially, you have to just chill, chill out a little bit and think about what their point is. Mm. And yes, of course, if the argument escalates and you're not getting anywhere, then fine, you can write that off. But I think sometimes I think you have to try and see their point of view when it comes to questioning, because I think on social media, there is a tendency for people to not really get their point across properly without sounding hostile. And I think that's it. I, I just get, that's why I left Facebook. I mean, my account's still there just because I have all my education stuff on there, all the groups I am I'm with for all the exam boards and that. But that's why I don't go on there as a social thing anymore. I just can't. Makes you anxious. It Because I will pick a fight. Yeah. Especially during lockdown, I would have picked a fight. I picked a fight with someone about teaching. Yeah. Um, and it, I literally was so angry about it, about the way he was talking about teachers that we were just, yeah, anyway. I don't think you can get to a, a good place no, with an you argument. No, you can't. And, if you've I, got very opposing views, even if you're both vegan, I think yeah. you can still have opposing views because, like we were talking about earlier, some people don't think you're doing enough on an activism front mm. and you think that you're doing the best that you can and yeah. I, uh, they'll never see that you're doing the best yeah. that you can and I think that's when you need to kind of walk away. I've said this so many times on videos, I find a lot of vegans quite hard going and I understand why other people deride us. But then surely that's just a difference in personality, not necessarily a vegan thing, because I think that probably is the no, problem. No, it's their opinions about veganism oh, okay, that I find okay. hard. Okay, okay, well, um, I, find I think people are just problematic for whatever reason, whether it's yeah. veganism or other political I views. mean, I'm not trying to tell you that I don't like vegans, because I love vegans. Yeah. But I. But no, that's I've, what I'm saying, I I've don't think it's a vegan thing I've had more, I'll be honest, I've had more arguments with vegans about veganism than I've had with meat eaters about mm. veganism. I just get very tired of the arguments, I get very tired of the the lack 
the lack of compassion for each other. We're meant to be compassionate people, and we're not. That I saw a lot of just people not being compassionate towards new vegans or transitioning vegans. That's that's the issue that I have. Is that you're going to be detrimental to the cause and put yeah. people off turning vegan because they might think, oh, I don't want this hassle. Yeah, because you and feel And I think you should be encouraging people to go vegan, yeah. not not the other way. Exactly, and like. You know, okay, I don't like the term plant-based. I don't think plant-based people, you're not vegan because you're not doing the vegan lifestyle. You're doing a vegan diet. You're not doing a vegan lifestyle. Basically, you're still, but you're still not eating animals. You're so. still having an impact. Yes. Yeah. And that's what I've always said. I appreciate that you're having an impact. And it's this is where labels become a problem. My back goes up and my hackles go up yeah. when I'm around someone and they mention that I'm vegan or I have to you know say is this vegan because I feel like I don't want to label myself anymore and it's that it's that perfection ideal isn't it it's yeah. it's all or nothing and I do I, you not. know I do look like the caricature of a vegan don't I I mean I'm tattooed I'm pierced I've got stupid colored hair whenever the, you see someone doing a picture yeah. of like you know the social justice warrior kind of thing I yeah. look like that and I eco warrior that. yeah but I'm just like I'm just I just want us just to be we've gone through hell guys it's a really interesting debate though because I try to open my mind to see their yeah, perspective I as well I get what they mean I do get what they mean and I you know I think for, for anyone to to say there's a problem with people not doing enough for animals I think totally I think yeah. people don't do enough for animals but I don't think you should really be pointing the finger necessarily or maybe he maybe they weren't pointing the finger maybe they weren't but it gets that's again, the way I felt though about maybe language. that's the problem I have I think you're right actually I think perhaps I approach things almost combative anyway mm. but you know I talk yeah. to students oh that's my sister wait a minute hey you okay I'm actually on filming at the moment yeah say hi to Phil hi oh, I'd lose my voice okie dokie love you bye sorry everyone that was my big sister Hi Trina. <laughs> oh god yeah she tried to take me for a walk and she went oh yeah it goes past the pig farm and I was like I seriously oh. cannot because my sister lives near a pig farm and I was like she's going you you don't want to do that and I was like Trina honestly I will run in there yeah. and just because she, save them all. Cause she goes past and she goes oh look at the piggies and I said that'll be on your plate later and she was like don't say things like that and I was like I'm just telling the truth so yeah. I I've been real yeah. keeping it real which is probably a bitchy thing of me to do, but I can't help it sometimes. Well, it's like when you see people on Facebook that are one minute complaining about animal abuse, and the next minute they're showing a picture of their, like, roast that they've got, and they have a little burger. It's like, I don't understand that. I yeah. know. I, I think people don't make the connection between the animal and it's the meat. It's disassociation. Yeah, totally. It's, it, it's the way it's packaged, isn't it? And it's also, like, it goes back to, I suppose, growing up and knowing that that's normal. Yeah. That you're meant to be eating that because it's healthy. I think someone Ridiculous. who I know very well and care for very well, I think he doesn't yeah. have, they don't have that, because yeah. they they will go and look at um, pigs and go, oh, look at the cute pig, and I'm just like, <sighs> yeah, I've ranted a bit, I'm sorry. I no, it's good to rant. So what do you think? Uh, do you think maybe you've misinterpreted a social media post? I think social media, unless you're speaking to someone face to face, I think Ooh. it's really difficult to, to hear their tone. It. You've got to hear someone's tone, haven't you? You don't know how they're expressing something. I think that's it. I mean, like, the only social media I go on is Instagram, and even there, one of the artists, she's posting some um, something about, you know, the politics with Biden and Harris. Um, is that Harris, the surname? Didn't he, Biden's running mate? And some people were saying, well, she's not as good. And it's just like, and other people were telling her to stick to the art. And yeah. it's like, art has always been political. Yeah. Yeah, well, absolutely. And I it's think this is it. it. It's like, we've, we're always going to be political with everything we talk about. But I don't, I don't even know where I'm going with this anymore. Well, I just think, ultimately, I think we should just listen to each other more yeah. without getting into an argument. Are you telling me I shouldn't get into arguments? No, I don't mean you specifically, see? <laughs> are you reading it are you, as are that? Are you getting at me? Are you getting at me? <laughs> are, you, are you having a go at me? <laughs> Thank you, as always, for watching. Like and subscribe. We'll be back soon, and hopefully you'll be sat in these chairs again.
Yeah, yeah. Before you swan off to yeah, Oxfordshire? I don't go until, the, I don't, it's another month before yeah. I leave. So we'll, we'll get your money's worth out of you. Oh, you're paying me? <laughs> I said he was paying me. Wishful thinking. <laughs> we'll do more soon. Yay. See you soon. See you Thanks soon. for watching.